Hey everyone, welcome back to this What The Hack serverless hack video series. My name is Gwen, I'm a cloud developer advocate here at Microsoft, and I am your host for this video series. And we are diving into challenge eight, data export workflow. So as a pre wec you have to make sure you have challenge seven done. There's a video on that, so be sure to check that out. Every link that I mentioned will be in the description. So it tells us here that uh, in this challenge, we need to create a logic app for your data export workflow. This logic app will execute periodically and call your export license plate function. Then conditionally send an email if there were no records to export. So we have to create a logic app and we're going to name it tool booth logic. Uh, so let's go to my resource group in the portal. And I'm actually, I'm just going to search for logic app up here and then I'm going to hit add. And then I'm going to make sure it's in the right subscription and in the right resource group. I'm going to paste in that name. Told booth logic, make sure it's in the right region. Awesome. And then we got to make sure that the plan type is consumption. Then we'll hit next, next, review and create. And then we can hit create. Awesome. And then the trigger should be recurrence of 15 minutes. Fantastic. So once that deploys, we can go ahead and set up that trigger. So we'll go to the resource. And then in here we should, I think it greets us with a template, like the designer, yes. Uh, so start with a common trigger under here, we're gonna hit recurrence and then we're gonna hit 15 minutes. And now it says add an action to call your app function, app function name, export license plates. So we're gonna click new step and then we're gonna search for function here. Fantastic, once it pops up, Azure Functions, and then we're gonna select the Toll Booth app. And then in here, we have the export license plate function. We're gonna select that one. Then it says, add a condition control, okay. And we're gonna scroll down to control condition. And it says that the value status code parameter is equal to, and the second value is 200. Okay, so choose a value. We're going to grab the status code is equal to 200. Alrighty. And ignore the true condition. In the false condition, send an 365 email if you have 365. If not, you can use Outlook. So here we're going to add an action. And then I'm going to, I have Outlook.com here. So I'm going to select that. And then we're going to select create an email. I believe that's what it's called, or it might be called send an email or here, send an email. Awesome. And I have this temp email address service up here. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this here and you would use your own personal email, but for this case, I just am using this disposable email address. The subject, I'm just going to call this export license plates. And it does tell us that message body enter something here and include the status code value. So in here we can select the, if we click see more status code and we'll just have the status code there. I think that's fine. Then we're going to hit save. And then it tells us to save and run. And once your email message is received, return to your solution and replace the to do's accordingly. So we're going to go ahead and run this and hit run. And let's see what happens here. Okay. That is running and if we go over here, we see that we got an email that says 204, which is the right status. Awesome. So now it tells us, uh, once your email message is received, return to your solution and replace to do's accordingly. So it looks like we got to go replace to do five and to do six. So let's go to visual studio code and we got to go into our to do. Let me close everything up here to our to do's here extension. And it says we got to do to do five first. So we'll go to to do five here. And there are some lines of code here that we need. So it says to copy this and then we remove the line below to do six. So this is to do five. We'll go ahead and paste that in here. Let's make sure that's formatted correctly. Uh, I think probably in that way. Whoops. Oh, no, that way. And there we go. Just so the code looks cleaner. And then we're supposed to remove this. I'm just going to comment it out. Awesome. 
And now it tells us to do seven, we have to add this line of code here. So we'll do to do seven here. And it tells us we have to complete this line. So we're gonna go ahead and add this. Awesome. So now it says publish to Azure, okay. So we're gonna to go to the Azure extension. We're gonna hit deploy to function app. Our recently used subscription, it should remember what app you published to recently, Tollbooth app. And then it should tell us, hey, do you wanna overwrite? And we're going to say, yes, we want to overwrite. There we go. Are you sure you wanna to deploy to Tollbooth app? This will overwrite any previous deployment and cannot be undone. So we're gonna hit deploy. Awesome. So one thing we do have to change um, in the actual function app. So if we'll go to function app and toll booth app, and I'll make sure this is in the instructions, but under configuration, we have to add another application setting. And this is just to ensure compatibility with certain libraries and configurations that we have set up with our function and actually having it deployed in Azure. And I think that is called function. Let's see, in my toll booth app, I am in the right one. Uh, I think it is called. I have a specific value here. Hold on, let me take a let me take a look here. Uh, it's in. Here we go. So we need to make sure we have functions underscore v two underscore compatibility mode underscore mode set to true. So we'll go in here, and then we'll just add a new application setting. We'll create that key value pair, and then we'll hit OK, and then we'll hit save, we'll hit continue. Awesome, so now what this export is going to do is generate a CSV in that export blob container that we have. So if we go to storage in the resource group, we'll go to the resource group, and then we'll go to storage, so it's that what the hack in it storage. And then remember we have those containers, we have an export and an images. So this export one is what's gonna get the CSV. All right, as you can see, I've created this already before. I'm gonna delete these, cause we don't need them. Uh, we'll go back to the here. Oh, it looks like at some point I created an incorrect uh, container. So we'll delete these. I just want to make sure that my export is working the way it's supposed to work. Let me see here. Uh, we'll go here. We have, we don't need this one. We're going to delete that. I'm not sure why that came in here. We just have export and images. So just to verify, I'm going to go back to my Azure function app, toll booth app. This is the one that's doing the exports. And then I'm going to go to configuration. And then I want to make sure that I've set the export CSV container name to the right one. So this export CSV container name, I've set it to export correctly. So maybe it was something else that I was testing that created that wrong container, but everyone should be fine there. All right, so now it tells us we've deployed it. We're gonna run the logic app and this time the condition should be true. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. We'll go back to the list and at the moment we have an empty inbox. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have a different email address though. I think so, is that different? Let's take a look. If we go in here, and okay, so the expression was true, awesome. So we didn't get an email address. So you see it went check off, check off, check off, and then it came here. So we don't have any newer emails. Awesome, we just have the ones that were there before. So it looks like it is working. If we go into here, we'll see that our status code was 200, meaning that it was successful. So since it does match that condition that the Logic App has, it'll send the true and won't send an email. Fantastic, and now if we go into our storage account, let's go back into that storage account and let's go to containers and we'll go to export. We'll see there's a CSV here. Remember I erased this before. So we have a CSV here. And awesome, that is it for this challenge. And now we're gonna do the optional challenges. I believe there are two more. Uh, so there's still plenty more to get hands on. And that is it for this video, but I will see you in the next one.